immigration as an issue has such an outsized influence on everything in this country. This movement has done so much with so little. Moments of opportunity or crisis come and go. A lot of funders come and go. For Freedoms Fund is here year in and year out, and it's important that other foundations, other funders, philanthropy, look to that steadfast leadership and take that example. For Freedoms Fund has been in the center of most of the uh, most important immigrant rights fights of the last two decades. Whether it's at the national level fighting for immigration status for millions of undocumented people, whether it's at the state level winning policies that make the lives of immigrants in the U.S. more productive, more fulfilled, more just, and more equitable, whether it's at the grassroots level building new leadership and developing new organizations to meet the challenges of the times. Four Freedoms has been in the center of all of that. After 9-11, there was this unprecedented challenge and demand that we were not expecting. There was this huge influx of anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim rhetoric. People just said immigration was dead in the water. There was no way we could do anything. And there are only a handful of funders who were supporting work on immigration policy. So we had to dramatically escalate our giving, and so we created the Four Freedoms Fund to help us respond collectively and also as a vehicle to be able to raise money from other funders who felt motivated in the wake of 9-11. It was one of those best ideas I think we ever came up with, and for us anyway, it is the only way we would have been able to get the money we have. It's hard to believe this, but there was really very little general operating support, and there was also very little multi-year general operating support, and there was also very little general operating support that was multi-year that was substantial. And so Four Freedoms kind of did all three of those things. And for small organizations like mine, I started uh, Hey Free Zone Campaign of Washington, later One America, right after 9-11. Four Freedoms sort of came in early with a set of funders with that substantial support. And it was money that got leveraged time and time again and allowed us to really grow and because it was money that was going to multiple organizations, the first set of grantees, it also meant that it was growing the movement as a whole. We were one of the first grantees of that fund. We were one of the first of our rights coalitions. What I really am very thankful for Four Freedoms is that um, they went beyond the first five coalitions and instead it started investing in many um, organizations throughout the country. It's actually a much more complicated task than one would think when you're not a funder to figure out really what are the right investments, how does one piece relate to the other and build on the rest. Um, and For Freedoms Fund is the place that like does that expertly in a way that um, is not possible as an individual funder. I think they're at the vanguard because, you know, they bring together some of the biggest funders um, in, in the field and really work on trying to build the resources to support this, this movement. And I'm so proud of the kind of things that we have won over all of these years from, you know, driver's license, in-state tuition, financial aid for undocumented immigrants, health care for all. Right now, you know, working um, very hard to continue um, to expand opportunities for undocumented population in, in California. Um, and then all the leaders. We had to organize, we had to litigate, uh, we had to advocate, we had to be in the streets and in the courtrooms and in Congress, and we were able to do that because of the support of Four Freedoms Fund. They truly believe that there is genius that lies within our marginalized immigrant community and that, the, and that there is importance in the bottom of organizing strategy. Immigration is actually part of what's going to make our country even more successful, that energy of the newcomers coming up to solve some of the problems we haven't been able to do. Because we have leadership, because we have networks, because we have all of this experience that's been gained over the last 20 years. And I think there's hope in that. We know that 20 years from now, 
uh, the world's going to look even more different. Uh, and our hope is to achieve a world that is more inclusive and where immigration status uh, is not a barrier to achieving your true and full potential as a human being. We can only really achieve an inclusive, uh, democratic, and humanitarian and just world if immigrants are included.